My name is Gladys Mosamtai. Uh, I'm a Kenyan, born and raised in a small town called Mogotio, St. Baringo County. Gladys' unusual passion is insects, and it's a passion that has the potential to change lives. I'm working on coffee pests and diseases, and I'm pretty much looking at the impact of landscape. And I'm pretty looking at how the landscape has been changing over the years due to, you know, human modification, either by cutting trees, or, you know, planting more coffee land, or, you know, the way we just handle our land and how we modify the landscape over the years. And, you know, the way we do it has an influence on, you know, pests and diseases, on climate change. Her research is looking at how these factors affect coffee production in the East African nation. Coffee is big money in Kenya, and about 70% of beans are produced by small-scale farmers. Coffee is an important crop for us as, as a Kenyan, uh, as a, in Kenya government. It's, uh, you know, it's part of the GDP. We get a lot of GDP from the coffee. And it's just not only in Kenya, but in most African countries. My work is very, very you know, farmer-oriented work like it has really direct impact because I want to see to understand how the farmer uh, manage their land, what their daily activity involves and how unknowingly or knowingly that has influence on the pests and diseases they see in their farm. Her inspiration is Wangari Mutamatai, a Kenyan environmental political activist and Nobel laureate. I remember when I was in my high school, uh, she won out the Nobel Peace Prize when I was in high school and she was such a big name. I'm like, yeah, I want to be like that woman one day when I grow up. My name is Olakmeri Okuboyejo. I'm from Ogun State in Nigeria. Olaperi is studying at Wits University, focusing on how to use technology to improve education. Personally, I have interest in teaching and helping learners, I mean, enhancing education. So I've decided to put my um, expertise in computer science to bring it to education to see how we can enhance learning generally. So the idea is to help, is to um, invent a new way to help learners learn regular expressions when there is no human teacher or tutor there. So this system will be able to act as a human tutor to give feedback. So we want to tell you where you're wrong, what you've done wrong, and give you a hint on how you can improve what you've done. And how is this any different from e-learning or distance learning? Such a set and limit direct interaction between a student and a teacher. So we are looking at how technology can help serve as that teacher in spaces where you can't have that physical teacher. So it's, it's like artificial intelligence, I could say. You know, you want to put the knowledge that a human tutor has in a system to be able to help the students. My name is Shalina Naidu. I am from Cape Town, South Africa. I am part of Stellenbosch University. This PhD candidate is hoping her research will help the most vulnerable in society. My research essentially entails studying the immune system of HIV-infected children that have received early therapy and that are on long-term therapy. So we're trying to understand the interplay of the immune system and the HIV virus to see how we could possibly provide knowledge towards the field of vaccines and HIV cure. In recent months, there have been a number of claims of potential cures, but Shalina says it's more complicated than that. 
With an em epidemic of this magnitude, ultimately what we want is a cure, but that comes with a number of challenges. And there is a lot of research going into HIV cure, um, but we don't really know how to approach cure. And so research currently is kind of in the first stages of trying to establish what is the link between the immune system, what is the link with the virus, how the virus evolves. And once we have those key things, it's kind of like a puzzle that we need to piece together. But for all their achievements, these scientists face an uphill battle. Science is still dominated by men. Only 30% of researchers globally are women. I think the type of support that female researchers need is more mentors within our field um, that could guide us, support us. I think that the experience for a female scientist is very different to a male scientist and the lens in which we view different problems around the world and specifically Africa is quite different. And so the support we need would be more from females who understand our roles in society as females. These women are encouraging girls to follow in their footsteps. Lindo Sitole, Nairobi.